Hello my friends, in this lecture we will go over 1966 IMO problem number 4. Uh, here is a view of this problem, obviously it's a proof type of problem, in which case we would like to show the validity of this expression, show that for every positive integer n, and for every real number x such that the denominators of these expressions won't be equal to 0, um, the following equation will hold. Um, let's... Uh, like we did in previous problems, uh, I will focus on the left-hand side expression and come up with a telescoping argument where the terms will cancel out and eventually it will be reduced, the left-hand side will be reduced to a much simpler form. So for that, let's focus on one of these terms. So I take the last leftmost term, so 1 over sine 2x, and I just realized that this expression here is simply a uh, with a simple manipulation that would be equal to 2 cosine square x minus 2 cosine square x plus 1, right? All I did is add and subtract 2 cosine square x on the numerator. And uh, for the denominator, for now, let's just keep the sign 2x. However, now um, I can... Uh, so what I will do is I will just split it, huh? Uh, along the following lines. Actually, let me put a bracket here and the plus sign would re become a minus sign here. So we would have um, 2 cosine square x over, huh? so 2 cosine square x over 2 sine x cosine x uh, minus huh? 2 cosine square x minus 1 is simply just cosine 2x over sine 2x and now I'm, I'm in good shape, huh? oops, sorry for these um, stretches. Um, so I'm in good shape because um, 2 cosine squared x over 2 sine x cosine x is just uh, co uh, cosine x over sine x, huh? cosine x over sine x minus, and here on the uh, minus cosine 2x over sine 2x, that would be, uh, so I'll, uh, that would be just cotangent 2x, in a similar way, this is just cotangent x. Huh? So we have the expression that we need. So the first term would be simply cotan uh, so cotangent x minus cotangent 2x. And as a result, so the left-hand side, therefore, uh, becomes cotangent x minus cotangent 2x. But I, I can proceed in that fashion. Huh? So the second term, the next term, would be cotangent uh, 2x um, minus um, cotangent, uh, I believe, 4x, right, and so on. And finally, huh, um, the last term will become cotangent um, 2 to the um, n minus 1x minus cotangent uh, 2 to the n x. And now we are in good shape because all the consecutive terms cancel out and all we have left is cotangent x minus cotangent um, 2 to the n times x and that's the desired result and we're done.